Hi guys, this is Anime OVO. This is a Shoji X Reader fanfic called So Much Worth Living For. I will leave the creator's name in the description. Each video will be one chapter of the story. Enjoy. Chapter 1. A New Start You sat on your bed, and the only thing you could think about was the letter you had just opened. And after everything you've been put through, all the pain, the loss, the sorrow... Yet, things were looking up for you. You slowly got up and walked back to your computer and clicked on the email again. Hello, Yin. I am here to inform you that UA High School is offering you a full-time scholarship. The school is waiting for your reply. And just like that, the screen went black. You slowly sat back in your chair and sighed. You looked over at your phone and texted your mother. Hey, Mom, I'm not sure what you're doing right now. When you see this, I have some good news. Text me back when you can. Your mother was out doing hero work. You were left home alone in the new house, but you were used to it. Both of your parents had always been heroes. You grew up with it like that. But ever since your dad has passed, your mom has been having some trouble taking care of you. But you didn't mind. You loved your mother, whether she was there or not. You also had moved due to your previous home being destroyed, but you had always moved a lot. That's why you always avoided making friends. You got up and walked to the kitchen to get a snack when you heard a knock at the door. You looked out the window to see a tall, extremely tall man standing at your door with a small tin. You walked over to the door and opened it. You looked up at the tall man. He was wearing a blue mask covering most of his face, but you could see his large eyes looking down at you. Hello, he said in a low, slightly attractive voice. Um, hi, can I help you? You're still intrigued by his large form. Uh, Yeah, yes, I'm Mizo Shoji from down the street. I noticed you moved in and I wanted to welcome you to the neighborhood, he said in a blank voice. Ah, okay, nice to meet you. I'm Yin. Nice to meet you, too. I made you and your family some mochi. Hope you find it to your liking. Your eyes widen as you look away as you begin to tear up. The word family made you think of your not family anymore. Because your family is broken. You're just people who live together and happen to still love each other. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? Shoji said in a panicked voice. No, it's just, um... I'm not exactly, um, family anymore. His eyes widened as he set the tin of mochi on the ground. He bowed his head, beginning to apologize. Please, no, it's okay, Shoji. It was just an honest mistake. He got up and handed you the tin of mochi, still looking guilty. You reassured him that he did nothing wrong, and he left. You walked back inside and locked the door. You set the tin of mochi down on the counter and began to walk up to your bedroom. You sat down on your bed and wondered, Hmm, he seems nice. I wonder if he goes to UA. As you walk over to your closet and get into your pajamas and look at the time, 12.03, you go to turn off the lights and climb into bed. UA, here I come, you say before you drift off into a deep sleep.